joining us. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Susie McCray. I'm a proud global founder of a company called On Passive, and you're in for a treat today. You've been invited to this public guest webinar by someone who really cares about you. Uh, you're going to sit back and hear about this business, and afterwards we will open up for guest-only Q&A. Uh, we're in over 200 countries. You're going to see in the chat people uh, joining us from all over. Uh, so please um, sit back and enjoy. I'm going to uh, introduce our first speaker. It's Charles Osung. Charles has 30 plus years in the IT information technology arena. He also knows business very, very well. He understands on passive. Uh, he's been with us for a while and he is going to do a wonderful explanation to you. And like we said, this business is for everyone. So whether um, you've been in business or before or not, no worries about that. You're gonna learn very soon how great this business is. And uh, I'll be back to you after Charles does his presentation and we'll help get the Q&A started. So you're in for a treat. Charles does a great explanation of the business. So Charles, it's all yours. It's great to see you today. Uh, thank you, Susie. I uh, appreciate that. I was hoping that Maddie would come first <laughs> and do his little thing. And then I can, uh, Maddie, are you there? <laughs> Let's see, Marty's there. I'm trying to get Marina on. Just not yeah, I've been trying to get her for some reason. It's not. Okay, I'll I'll um I'll introduce Marty then, if you'd okay. like Marty. Yeah, to... go ahead and introduce Marty. Let's start let's start like that and uh. Okay. And then and then Susie, if you don't mind, try to see if you can promote Marina to the panel. I've been trying to do that and it's not coming. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Tell her to get off and come back on if it doesn't work. Yeah, I, somehow it's done. I, I want her to be on the panel. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, well, thank you. Everybody. Anyway, go ahead and introduce Maddie while we do that. Oh, okay. Hi, everyone. It's Susie again. <laughs> we go with the flow here. You know, in life, if you're adaptable and you're good with change and a few hiccups here and there, that's what life's all about. You don't get stressed about it. So I'd like to introduce our first speaker. His name is Marty DeGarmo, and he comes to you from uh, New Jersey, the state of New Jersey in the United States. Uh, Marty's background for over 17 years, he was a project manager with a large global company and he traveled all across uh, the globe. And over the last 15 plus years, Marty got into online marketing. He's seen it all. He understands the business um, and he's been with us for a while in On Passive. He has a lot of wisdom and you're gonna to wanna to hear what Marty has to say. And after that, Charles will do his presentation and then we will get into the Q&A and I'll give you instructions about that. So sit back, enjoy, and I will be back. Okay, Marty, it's all yours. Thanks, Su Susie. Thanks, Andre. Great job as, you, as always. Um, got a pretty good crowd, over 800 people here. That's fantastic. Today, we're gonna to introduce to you a business that can help you create wealth beyond your imagination. And I don't use words like that lightly. I've been online for 17 years, lost a lot of money. And the first 10 years were painful to say the least. I uh, got on just like most people, got on, wanted to make money online, thought every you know other people are doing it, I could do it too, and found out it's not quite what I thought it was. So, you know, you get in, you, you do what they tell you to do. There's usually a man or a woman or a couple in the, that are so-called gurus. Do what I tell you to do and I'll make you, you know, successful. And I found out as time went on, like about 10 years, I said, look, I'm gonna have to learn how to market on my own because I, it's definite to me, no matter what anybody tells you, any one of these so-called gurus, uh, it's really hard to duplicate what you're doing. It just is. You can't, you can't take what you learned and just give it to somebody and all of a sudden they know what you know. Anyway, about 10 years ago, I, I teamed up with a couple of guys, uh, Mike Ellis and Dan Street, 
um, we would get into a business. We try to pick the best business. We build a large team. And within 60 days, either the company wasn't what we thought it was and they disappear or we get in and the comp plan isn't what they say. You got to do all these magical things just to, you know, to be able to um, get any kind of pay. And then on top of all that, you're paying an auto shift. So you're paying, you're actually losing money every month. I know I didn't get in to do that. Well, after, even when we could build large teams, and I mean, really good sized teams, guess what, guess what it is now? Now we're on the other end of the spectrum and uh, we can't bring anybody with us. So even if you make a few dollars and you say, hey, you know, you're talking to people, you're looking in their eyes, saying, I'm gonna help you. And it's a bald faced lie. You can't, you might be able to help two or three, you can't help a lot because you can't duplicate what you did. You're meeting people that are in the same spot you were 10 years earlier. I said, man, this has got to give. So a couple of years ago, I was going to get offline completely because I just could not stand the idea of using people to, to for me to do okay because I had some skills, let's say, and they didn't. I hated it. And long comes this company on passive, which Charles Osong is gonna to explain to you. I ran into Red Redford, who's, who's here, and Peter Rogers, and I, and I knew them from business before because, and, and the reason I went and looked, found them was I trust them. It's a big deal online, by the way. Well, I trusted them. So I asked them, what are you doing? They told me, I asked a few questions that were really important to me at that time. Can anyone make money? Yes. Uh, do you need any special skills? No, it's 100% automated, they said. Uh, wow. Uh, there's no special hoops or anything you got to do to qualify. There's no qualifications. I said, wow, they, this just keeps adding to my list of this. I'm checking off the boxes as I go. Anyone can make money? Yes. No special skills? No. Uh, unlimited income? Yes. The products, are they in high demand? And, and, and Charles is going to go over the products because he knows, like I know, if the products are not what they should be or, or really, really superior, the business is dead. I don't care what any other part of the plan. It has to be a viable product. You'll hear that from Charles. But anyway, um, so I got in quick as I could. I went to Dan and Mike told them. I can't even remember what I told them, but it wasn't a lot. I didn't know a lot. I knew enough that I said we can build this and actually for the first time in my life, look in somebody's eyes and say, they're gonna say, can I be successful too? You darn right you can. And that made a big deal to me. That was the biggest deal of all time. I've been in ever since. We built a, a large team. Uh, I can't wait to introduce it to everyone. We do these webinars every twice a week. It's done in every different language. And I teamed up here with, with uh, Charles Osong, Susie, Lon Ray and Red and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Charles now. Now, Charles Osong uh, has 17 or 30 years experience in the IT arena. Uh, it's a big deal. And when you meet somebody that understands that part of it, it's mind blowing. And he knows it. And he knows the products as good, if not better than anybody in the company. So it's a, it's a great treat today for you to be here when you are. I invited everybody I know to be here because... Charles is so good at explaining this business. Now you might want to get a pen and paper and be ready, but also keep in mind, you can ask questions at the end because we want you to know what we know. We're not going to talk you into anything, but I think if you do get the information, you're going to jump on us like a fat rat in a cheese factory. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Osong and he is going to blow you away, guarantee. And like I said, if you want a copy of this at the end, I will send it to you. I, I, we want people to hear about this unbelievable wealth building uh, system that is automated. Mr. Osong, it's all yours. Thank you so very much, Madi. You are the man. I'm so humbled to be partnering with people like you, Great Minds, Red Redfern, Susie, my brother, Landry. I appreciate all that you guys are doing for our community. And, and guys, I see we're fast approaching 900 today, which is great. And I'm hoping that we have at least 50% uh, guests, at least 450 guests today. And if you are a guest, 
you are in for a treat, like Madi just said, because this kind of opportunity that we are talking about is a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. And Madi just summarized his story and I'm gonna be bringing you my story also. And you're gonna realize they are pretty similar, okay? For those of us who have been out online in business, doing multi-level marketing. And by the way, this is not a multi-level marketing because I retired from multi-level marketing a few years ago. And I said, just like Maddie said, I keep bringing people, they cannot duplicate me, I'm done until I ran into unpassive. And this you're gonna be hearing by way of my story, how I ran into it, what happened, why I decided to be part of it. So like they all just said, I have a background in IT for over 30 years. And during that time while I was working, I had my eyes and ears opened, right? I have a big family in the United States and outside of the United States. I have to help out. So I try to make extra money. Passive income, right? I ran into the works of Mr. Warren Buffett a while ago. And he said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you're gonna work until you die. Now that statement, every night when I go to sleep, it is ringing in my head. Have I found a way to do that? Okay, so just over four years ago, maybe four and a half years ago almost, I decided to tender my resignation for corporate America, okay? And I recall a colleague of mine looking at me straight in the eyes and saying, Charles, you must be very fortunate. You must have saved up a lot of money to be retiring this early. And I said to him, on the contrary, I have been working for so long. And of course, I can't save up the kind of money that I would like, right? I had a job just over broke. By the time I pay my bills, I am back to where it all started. So I said, no, it's got to be a better way. I recall Robert Einstein saying, you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That is his definition of what? Insanity. And I agree with him. So I decided to stop working and, found it and find a different way to make money. I went and got myself an office in Maryland in the United States. And just over two, two years and three months ago, a good friend of mine, a very trusted friend of mine, walked into my office and said to me, Charles, I have this opportunity that you need to take a look at. And just so you know, prior to retiring, I had been studying rigorously the behavioral patterns of successful people. And one of them is simple. You bring them an opportunity. They take a look at it, right? The poor people have the habit of saying, no, it's a scam. I don't, I don't care, it's, it's one of those things. The rich people will take a look and make an informed decision. So I decided to behave like one of them that day. But I told my friend, three questions you're gonna have to answer for me first. Prerequisites, makes life easy for you, makes life easy for me. This opportunity that you are bringing to me today, if I do not recruit, am I going to make money? If I cannot sell to even one person, am I still going to make money? And when I say money, I'm talking about real money, not chop change. Okay? Enough money to give me financial freedom. Now, remember, I had time freedom because I was retired. But I was still looking for that very elusive financial freedom. Because when you have those two, we say you have what? Total freedom. So I asked my friend that day, this opportunity that you are bringing to me today, if I cannot recruit because I'm just human, as human beings, recruiting is a big, big, is a tough thing to do. Am I gonna be able to make that kind of money? And he said to me, Charles, yes, you will. You will make enough money to leave a legacy for your children, your children's children and beyond. That sounded like music to my ears. 
And I said, let's go to question number two. With this company, will I have to come out of pocket every month, month in, month out, to pay some bill? In the industry, they call it auto ship. Will I have to pay a monthly auto ship? He said, Charles, nope. Once this company launches, so they were in pre-launch at the time. And he said, when this company launches, you will come out of pocket once, and that's it. I felt, I felt like break dancing, but I held my cool, and I asked him, I said, let's go to question number three, the third and final. The last, but certainly not the least, very important. Does this company have legitimate, viable products? By legitimate, I mean legal. By viable, I mean necessary. My friends, when a company doesn't have those, it is a time bomb. It is just a matter of time before it explodes. Experience taught me that. And so I asked him, does this company have those? And he said to me, Charles, with your IT background, you should be able to understand these products better than me. I said, no problem. Went back, took a look at the products, and I came back to him. And I said, my friend, should this company succeed in what they're trying to do? We are going to have an internet quick, a shakeup of the internet. But I also said to him, we're going to have to wait some time, maybe five years, maybe six years. And he didn't like that because he's like all of us. We want money now. He said, Charles, why would you say that? I said, well, it's simple. You told me to take a look at the products. I did. They are using something called artificial intelligence, AI for short. Artificial intelligence, my friends, is a disruptive technology. And what do I mean by that? A disruptive technology is one that comes every once in a while it will change the way we do things. We have no choice, like the internet. In other words, it will disrupt our lives. AI is yet the most disruptive technology mankind has ever known. But AI is very involved, okay? It involves machine learning, machines trying to behave intelligently. It involves empirical data. It involves millions upon millions of lines of coding. For those of you who are familiar with software development, you know that is time consuming. That is why I told my friend, we are gonna have to buckle up and enjoy that roller coaster. But I also told him, I don't care how long it's gonna take. I wanna be part of this opportunity today. I have something we call FOMO, fear of missing out. I had missed out on a few opportunities earlier on in my life. I wasn't going to miss out on this one. Not for any length of time and not at any cost. So I asked him, how much is it going to cost me to be part of this company today? And I was thinking he's going to give me some huge number. 15K, 20K, 25K, believe it or not, I was ready. I had my credit card in my pocket. In the United States, we do not need cash. All we need are plastics. And I had a few of those. But my friend looked up at me and said, Charles, you wouldn't believe this, but all you're gonna need is $97, $97, needless to say. I was discombobulized. I was flabbergasted. I could not believe him. I said, my friend, you didn't come all the way to my office to mess with me, to play with me. And he said, no, I'm serious. No problem. Took out my credit card, gave it to him. I said, put it on there. By the time we were done, it costed me $102. Yes, there's the $5 fees that the banks will charge you. No problem. Big deal. I told him, consider that dinner for two. But I also told him, do me a favor. Get back to me. Text me. Email me. Call me. 
do whatever it takes. Just get me informed when they are closer to launch so that I can get more involved. He said, deal. Eight months later, he gave me a call. Charles, the CEO of this company wants to talk to all of us in one week's time. Can you make yourself available? And I said, why not? One week later, I hop on the call and there was Mr. Ash Mofara. Mr. Ash Mofara, my friends, is the CEO of this company. Mr. Ash Mofara, for those of us who have been founders for some time, we have come to know and love him dearly. Not only because he's going to help us make money, and I can assure you, he will help us make a lot of money. But also, and more importantly, because of his heart, his heart for humanity. So let me just say this. We do have a few geniuses out there, a few of them. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, just to name a few. These guys, all of them have the brains. But do they have the heart? Here's what I'm going to tell you. As you come to join our company, you're going to find out not only does our CEO have the brains, but he also has the heart. And that is why a lot of us leaders with heart resonate with him, myself in particular. But mind you, I was listening to Mr. Mofara for the very first time. And he came out and he said, folks, we have been making a lot of progress. In fact, we are closer to launch. I have to admit, that statement threw me off. Because eight months earlier, I just told my friend, listen, we're going to have to wait, OK? Long, long time. Now, all of a sudden, this dude is telling us we are closer to launch. So I'm asking myself, whom is he kidding? I know exactly what this entails. And then he went on. He said, we have leased a building in Bangalore, in India. My friends, if you look behind me, you will see a building that says on passive. It's also behind Madi Degamo. This building is in high tech city, Hyderabad in India. This building was leased by on passive December 2020. So at that time, this building was non-existent. Mr. Mofara had gone to Bangalore and he had leased two floors in a high rise building. And he went on, he said, we have hired 200 engineers, the best of the best. And these guys are working 24 seven to make sure our dream is realized. So now in my head, I'm thinking, okay, most startup companies are gonna have 20 to 25 engineers. Most startup companies are gonna have these engineers work eight, maybe nine, maybe 10 hours a day. Well, Mr. Mofara goes to the source. And when I say source, for those of you who are familiar with IT, you're going to agree with me that Indians are the best in the game. He goes to the source. He didn't get 20 or 25 engineers. No. He got 200 of them. And these guys are now working eight or nine or 10 hours a day. These guys are working around the clock. These guys are taking turns to make sure this baby is born. So now in my head, I'm thinking, okay, with this kind of a resource, yes, you are able to cut time frames. With this kind of a resource, yes, you are able to do in three or four years what is scheduled to take five, six, or even seven years. So I am beginning to believe. But Mr. Mofara went on. He talked about NDA. Some people have misbehaved, and we're going to have one. I'm going to let Mr. Red Refn explain to you what that is later on in this presentation. But when I looked at that document, that is when it dawned upon me that this is serious. It dawned upon me that this is the time I told my friend to call me, text me, email me, 
so that I can get involved. I said, I am going to be a man on a mission because this opportunity is unlike any opportunity that I have seen in my life. We are going to use this to change the world, period. I called a few friends to my office and I said, my friends, we are going to need to spread this word massively. What are we going to use? We brainstormed and we arrived on Zoom. Thanks to technology with Zoom, all you need is a smart device. It can be a smartphone, it can be an iPad, it could be a laptop, and you need internet access, data, as you guys call it in Africa. My friends, we decided on Zoom. As you can see, the company I'm talking about today is called Unpassive. And the name is not for nothing. This is a passive opportunity. You come into this opportunity, when we launch, you come out of pocket, one little small amount of money, we're going to talk about that. And guess what? Money in your bank account, day in, day out. Our CEO and founder that I just mentioned to you, Mr. Ash Mofara, he graduated with a master's in e-commerce. He went back to Harvard, did some more studies on how to do business online, how to market online. He is the best in AI. He has a knack for artificial intelligence, my friends. He's a guru when it comes to traffic, traffic generation. Traffic, my friends, is the reason I can dream today. Traffic is the reason all of us can dream today. So we're going to spend a couple minutes to talk about traffic. What is traffic? Traffic is the most fundamental element in any business. It doesn't matter whether this business is offline or online. It doesn't matter. But let's start with on, online, offline business, by the way, because most of us are, are digital immigrants, right? We are more used to offline businesses. So what is traffic offline? Say you have a business and I have the same business, and it doesn't matter. It can be any business. It can be a car dealership, a barber shop, a hair salon. It doesn't matter. But let's just say this is a restaurant. Why? Because I love food. And I know everybody eats. You have a restaurant and I have a restaurant. Same kind of restaurant, same kind of food, same kind of chef. Everything is the same except for one thing, location. Your restaurant is located in a busy area, in a shopping mall. My restaurant is hidden in a back alley somewhere. Well, your restaurant is going to fare better than mine. And here's why. People are going to come to that shopping mall, minding their own business, to do their hair, do their nails, window shopping, buy some clothes. Doesn't matter what it is that brings them to the shopping mall. They will eventually get hungry. They'll look up, spot your restaurant, wander into your restaurant. And the end result of that is what? Sales. My restaurant, on the other hand, they're going to have to know it is there. They're going to have to leave their homes deliberately to go there. Because of that, it suffers. It suffers from what? Traffic. So what is traffic? Customers, people coming in and out of your business. It's that simple. What about traffic online? But before I go there, I want to say this. In this day and age, this digital day and age, if you have a business like the restaurant I just mentioned, offline, you better get yourself an online presence. Otherwise, you're going to be smoked by your competition. But the reverse is not true. You can have a very successful business online with no offline presence, like Amazon. So what am I saying in essence? It is true that we have lots of businesses offline, millions upon millions of them. But it is also true that we have more businesses online than we do offline, billions of them. And guess what? All of these businesses online, they thrive on traffic too. Without traffic, they are out of business. So what is traffic online? Clicks, my friends, clicks. 
if you have a business online, for you to make a sale, someone has to, first of all, click on it. No clicks, no sales. The more the clicks, the more the sales. So we have individuals online, businesses online. How do they make money? They simply drive traffic, customers, to all those billions of businesses online. Typical example, Google. So our CEO and founder is the best in that game. But before I go there, let me tell you something else. We have what we call targeted traffic. What is targeted traffic? Say you go online looking for a TV, for example, and someone comes to you and whispers, hey, go to charlesosong.com. And the moment you get there, all you see are TVs, all colors of TVs, all sizes, all prices. Guess what your chances of buying are? Very high. So our CEO and founder is the best in the game of driving targeted traffic. And it is because of targeted traffic that you and I can dream today. It is a single differentiator between on passive and any other business out there. I don't care what business you talk about. Targeted traffic is our bread and butter. Okay, so Mr. Mofara, like I said, is the best in that game. Because of that, you and I can dream. Now, just a few years ago, about just over three years ago, I want to say that's very important because at that time, we have no pandemic. Mr. Mofara and his friends are going to sit together and say, hey, we want to start our own business. We're going to have legitimate, viable digital products. We have over close to 8 billion people on Earth. And at any point in time, 7 million of them are online looking for something, some kind of service. What kind of services are they looking for? Now, 7 million by three years ago, over three years ago, no pandemic. You can imagine what that number is today. But 7 million is still a lot. What kind of services do they need? Now, we're going to talk about products and services. We're going to have digital services. What services do these people need so that we can provide them with these services? Well, some of us online are doing what? Online banking. I know that. I do that sometimes twice a day. And I know some of you do the same thing. When we do these things, guess what? There are people online, customers, businesses online, that monetize on our services. And these guys are on passive, they're gonna say, you know what? We can do that too. Even better, because we're gonna use AI. Some of us online, we are on our favorite social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I love Facebook. But when we are on Facebook, what do we do, right? We send texts photos to friends, family members, colleagues, classmates. Well, that is called community. That's how Facebook makes its money. And these guys are gonna say, you know what? Oh, with AI, we can do that even better. Some of us online, we're doing e-commerce, drop shipping, email marketing, bulk emailing. There are people online that make six and seven figure income just doing email marketing. Yes, I know that. I thought about that once upon a time. So these guys are gonna say, you know what? With AI, we can have email marketing even better. Order responders, even better. Some of us online, we are doing what? Video conferencing, right? So if you can see me or you can hear me or both, it means you went to Zoom, put in some ID, and there you are. Well, guess what? Eric Wan, the owner of Zoom, and his cohorts, his, his collaborators, they are making a killing just by you and I doing what we're doing. And Zoom is not the only one. We have Skype. We have AnyMeeting. We have Cisco WebEx. We have Google Hangouts. 
We have Microsoft Teams. We have a plethora of more than 25 of them making serious money, especially ever since the pandemic. But, but Zoom is the most popular. Why? Because it is the most user friendly. Okay? But not for long. You wait. You wait until on passive launches our O Connect. Some of us have had a sneak peek of it. It is clearer, 3D. It is faster. It is end to end secured, encrypted from start to end. Guess what? It is scalable. And above all, it is less expensive. It is more affordable. But let's focus on Zoom for today because it is still their day. We are yet to launch. Let's focus on them. Prior to COVID-19, Zoom was averaging about 10 million participants daily. Well, the same company took a statistic April 1st, 2020, that number had risen to over 300 million participants a day. November 30th, 2020, Forbes magazine came out with a report. Zoom had made more profits than Exxon Mobil. Decades old American oil company, my friends, do you guys know why? Ever since the pandemic, every university, high school, middle school, elementary school, asking students to take classes virtually. Yes, I have seen pastors, men of God, women of God, having virtual prayer, prayer services, no choice. I have seen virtual weddings, virtual all kinds of stuff. What am I saying in short? The world is going virtual and on passive is simply gonna help us monetize. Well, let's talk about another service, VPN, right? Virtual Private Network. What is that? A fancy name, it's a fancy name for a tunnel. A tunnel that cuts across a major network such as the internet. It provides privacy. Employers use it so that their employees can have access to corporate data without fear of bad guys, without fear of hackers. Ever since the pandemic, more and more companies, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, asking employees to work from home. Even the federal government asking employees to work from home. It is the new trend. So these guys are all passive. What are they gonna say, you know what? Okay, we have AI at the back of our hands. We're gonna have our own VPN. More secured, much clearer, more scalable, and above all, guess what? More affordable. Let me tell you guys something. When on passive launches, the big players in the VPN space, like Cisco Networks, they are going to know there is a new sheriff in town, believe me. Now let's talk about another service, very important. Search engine optimization, SEO. What is that? That's a mouthful, right? And what is it? We know of search engines. We know of Yahoo. We know of Bing. Those of us Apple enthusiasts, we know of Safari. But everybody should know of Google. It is like a household name these days. It has become a verb, Google it. Well, you can go to Google 10 times a day, 100 times a day to search for something free of charge. You can go to Google to get one email address, 10 of them, 50 of them, free of charge. Well, even Facebook, all of us go to Facebook free of charge. So all these companies, sounds like everything is free, but they are multi billion dollar companies. Well, here's the multi-billion dollar question I've got for you. How do they make money? Well, most of us don't know. And frankly, most of us don't even care because it is none of our business. But let me share with you one of the main ways that Google makes money because 
on passive is going to help us make money the same way. If you go to Google today to search for something, and it can be anything, it can be a watch, it can be a phone, okay? Or let's just say it is a camera, only because I do market my cameras through Google. You go to google.com and you type in camera, a bunch of them are going to pop up, a bunch. And one of them from my store, I can guarantee you that because I pay them. If you click on that camera from my store, you just costed me money. You don't have to purchase. You don't have to buy it. They call it pay-per-click. As soon as you click on it, they charge me. They have my credit card on their file. That's it. So what does Google say? If you are a business person online and you market your product through us, that means you're paying us, right? Guess what? A customer comes in looking for that item. We're going to optimize our search, bring your item to the top so that they can see it. Eyeballs. The moment they see it, over, game over. We are charging you. So I'm a small business person online, very small, almost insignificant. But I can assure you, I'm paying Google averagely 400 bucks every month. I'm also paying Microsoft. And why am I paying Microsoft? Bill Gates is smart. He knew that search engine is going to be big. Didn't have time to start a brand new company, but over a company called Bing. And people like us pay him month in, month out. I'm also paying a company called GoDaddy for what? Domain name service, right? Every business online must have a domain name. So when you hear xss.com, xss.net, .org, that's a domain name, okay? And there are companies such as GoDaddy that host those names and they charge everybody. So I'm paying them too, yes. These guys are on passive. We're gonna have our own domain name service using AI, much better and more affordable. These guys are on passive. We're gonna have our own SEO. Super, super smart, more intelligent. By the time you put in the first character, it already knows where you are headed. Let me just say this. When on passive launches, the big players in this space, like Google, they are going to know. Yes, they will know. There is a new kid on the block. So what am I doing, my friends? I'm just giving you some services, those digital services that on passive is putting together the ones that you and I can understand, we use every day. Of course, we're gonna have a lot more. Some of us are gonna use it. Some of us aren't gonna use it. Okay, like VPN or, or virtual, we'll call it, it's the VPN. Some of us will use it. Academy, education service. Some of us will, some of us won't use it. Okay, or tracker, a whole bunch of services. On passive is putting this together. What is on passive doing? Putting all of these together, under one roof, under one umbrella. In IT, we call it single sign on. But here's a big word, guys. Take it home today. They are going to be integrated. No company on earth has ever succeeded to do that. But on passive, it's 99% there. My friends, this is value. I told you guys earlier, you don't have to recruit to make money. You don't have to come out of pocket every month to pay some bill. And above all, we have legitimate, viable digital services. If you find a company with all three of these, my friends, contact me, and I will be your first partner, your first customer, whatever you want to call it. Now, with this kind of value, what is it going to take you? What is it going to cost you? to become a founder of this company. Because fortunately for you, we are still in pre-launch, but it's not gonna be for long anymore. We are this close to get to soft launch. So I am gonna let my friend and partner, Mr. Red Redfin, explain to you what it takes to become a founder of this company. Mr. Red Redfin has been with Unpassive ever since the, almost the beginning of this company. No one knows how, what it takes better than Mr. Red Refn. He understands his business inside out. My friends, 
give him your ears. Right, take it over. Thank you very much, Charles. Always a pleasure to work alongside you, Marty and Susie. And I also see that um, uh, uh, Marina's here as well. Fantastic guys. I love working alongside you guys, having the minds that we do all helping us all to understand on passive. Your presentation, Charles, is second to none. And if I wasn't a founder, I'd be signing up once again. Uh, before I get into how much it's going to cost you and how you go through uh, the registration process, there's a couple of things I just want to bring out. Charles has mentioned a couple of really, really big companies that are online right now, the likes of Google, Microsoft, and obviously Amazon. Now, uh, also Charles mentioned that our CEO is a really, really dynamic person who not only is going to make all of us here who are founders extremely wealthy online, but also he has a heart for humanity. And he actually wants to give back as much of the profits of the company to us, the founders, as possible. All he wants to do to take out of the company, as far as profits is concerned, is enough money to pay his staff, to cover his overheads and costs, and a little bit money as well, put aside for future development. And guess what, guys? The rest of it is going to come to us. So let's just take Amazon, for instance. Now, did you know that Amazon have obviously been around for almost 20 years now? But over that 20-year period, Amazon has produced 40,000 millionaires. And they don't even want to. Can you imagine what is going to happen with OnPassive when they become a company of the same sort of size? And they will, because within our first year, we will have in excess of 100 million customers. You as a founder will be just 1% of that total. And you as a founder will benefit in the company's profits. And remember, guys, your decision today will have an impact on your life, your family's life and people around you in two years time. So it really is time to make the right decision right now. Have trust and faith in the person who has shared this opportunity with you. And how do you become a founder? It's super easy. You get back to the person who has invited you to this webinar and you say, can I have your registration link? They will give you the registration link and then you will put a few details in there. That is your name and an email address. Once you have done that, you click send and it will open up a payment uh, gateway for you. You can buy, pay by uh, Visa or credit card, uh, direct uh, debit or credit card. You can also pay by cryptocurrency and a couple of other uh, ways as well, depending on your country. Once you have done that, you then sign back in again and another page will pop up, which is what Charles mentioned, the NDA. This is the non-disclosure agreement. Do not be put off by this, guys. It is five pages long and it is a big read. You don't have to read it all there right now. You can actually print it off and read it as your leisure. But I would take a, a read of it. Now, it's very important to understand why it is there. It is there for two reasons. One, to protect the company and one, to protect you as the founder and customer. And this shows you exactly how um, serious on passive is as being a company online. So, <laughs> excuse me, it does protect them and us. Go all the way to the bottom. There is two tick boxes that you have to fill out. Just tick those, digitally sign it. If you're on a multimedia device, you can sign it on the screen just with your finger. If you are on a desktop, you can digitally sign it with a digital signature. Once you've done that, then you're good to go. You are in. And then you'll have access to our own founders only back office. OK, the other out of pocket payment you will have to make. So first time to become a founder is ninety seven dollars. The next out of pocket payment that is the final payment you will have to pay out of pocket is when we launch to the world. This is to activate your accounts. So when we launch the world, which is imminent, by the way, guys, and once we do launch, that's it. There will be no more founders. So the time is nigh, as they say, to get involved with us, a founder. will cost you around about $250. Might be a little bit more. It might be a little bit less. But if you have in your mind that it's going to cost you $250 to activate your account, then you are good to go. 
and you do not have to pay this until we launch. So from now until that date, you can start putting that money aside, knowing that you have to pay that. Once you've paid those two payments, that's you done. You will have full access to every single product and service of OnPassive within our own ecosystem. Not only that, we'll also get a chance to beta test and send feedback about our products and service. So really are getting fantastic value even before we have launched to the world with the tools and services within our own back offices. Anyway, guys, we really do hope that you will join us on this on passive journey and become a founder with us. We are now going to hand it back over to Charles where we're going to and Susie, where we're going to open up the Q&A. And remember, guys, this is for guests only. If you are already a founder, please refrain from using this uh, guest webinar for your questions. We have hosted by Charles on Monday, the Founders Q&A. Up along to that and we will stay open until every single Founders question is answered. But for now, let's leave it to guests. Over to you, Susie. Well, I just want to jump on board again myself. You guys, <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, so, Susie, one, one quick thing. Bef yeah. before, we, before we go to Q&A, right? Yeah. I would love for Marina to explain to them that you can be passive or active in on passive and all of us are gonna win. Marina, can you take a couple okay. minutes and explain to them, please? Okay, before she awesome. does that, before you do that, Marina, I just have a quick question. Uh, do you think it's okay that I lower all the hands because there's a lot of founders <laughs> with raised hands? Yes, yeah, some, some of them do it unintentionally. So, so yeah. lower the hands. And those who really want to raise their hands can now raise their hands. I think that's okay. good. Okay, so I just lowered all the hands. If you are a guest and you would like to come on to ask a question, please uh, raise your hand and I will bring you on after Marina finishes uh, her, her, her little uh, uh, talk about being passive or being engaged. Okay, Marina, it's all yours. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Charles. Hello, panel list and hello, Africa. Hello, world. Um, I think what will cover it, I've got um, a list here and it's very quick. It's 10 values of being a, um, 10 values of a founding member position with on passive. One, you'll be owning your own business. When you pay your fee as a founder, you are given an AI IT company with a website like owning your own high-tech business online. The more accounts you have, the more businesses online you own or the more people in your um, team, there are people that you share the business. Each person you share it with is a potential stream of income, another stream of income. A perfect business. Your business is 100% legal, 100% ethical in every country. Three, a wealth creation. Your business with on passive is self-funding and self-sustaining. No debt, no additional cost should come out of your pocket once the first month subscription is paid. Four, all done for you. It works for you from production to marketing and sales. That means you can just be passive. The business builds your business for you. On passive builds your business for you. Five, we have mega products. We have over 50 or more products each with a value of millions and more, if not billions. <laughs> and they are revolutionary, superior, affordable, and scalable. Six, it's a global market. Your market is global and nearly 5 billion customers um, of internet users who would potentially use our products. Seven, it's residual income. Your income is residual for life as long as you are an active founder, founding member with on passive. And eight, Growth with on passive. Your business grows as on passive grows with more products, market share, and income. Nine, it is willable and transferable. Your business is willable and transferable to your children and your family or, or whoever you desire. God says in his word, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. This is what on passive is offering you. And 10, Make a difference in the world. On Passive is a business with love for humanity. You will be able to give more and make a difference for countless people. So I hope that um, you understand this. You can be passive 
You don't have to do a thing. You don't have to share this opportunity with anyone and you are forced to succeed. If you're active, all you're doing is you're cutting timeframes. You are just helping the business with the AI marketing campaign to get customers under you because anyone that you sign up now is a founder is also going to be a customer in your organization. So it's entirely up to you. Either way, if you're in, you quite simply, you will win. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Marina. Great to have you on. Um, I see we have some hand raised. I am um, trying to bring people on as panelists. However, nothing has come through yet. Uh, so for now, uh, keep your hands up. We'll try to get you on. The screen will change as you come on as a panelist. And then we'll ask you to turn on your microphone and your video. Uh, until then, if you would like, Marty has put this in the um, chat. If you want a recording of today's webinar, please send a request to onpassivenation at gmail.com. Um, and we will send that along to you. It looks like uh, we have someone on that is a founder. Um, but let's see if we can get Ramchandra. Ramchandra, if you would like to unmute yourself and ask your question. I'm going to promote a few more people. So just hang in Hello. there, take a few minutes. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi, hi Ramchandra. Hello. Know? Uh, hello, ma'am. My voice, my voice is clear. My voice is clear. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Can you ask your question, please. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My son, myself, I'm John Jordan from India. Hello. Hi, we can hear you. It's um. There's hello. A there's a little noise in the background. We can hear you though. Go ahead. From India, Jaipur. Yes. I, I want to I want to ask a question uh, uh, about uh, on passive. Before before that, I want to say all the founders of world, and I I heartily respect you, ma'am, <laughs> because I am very very big fan of you, Suji, ma'am. I'm a big fan. I, I uh, always hear your international webinars. <laughs> and Charles, Charles, bro, Marina, and uh, uh, Marty, Marty, bro, uh, I, I, I want to say welcome from my bottom of my heart. Okay, well, there is no doubt about, no doubt about, no, I, I have no doubt about on PC because. It's it's uh, uh, digital, and we are going through digital world, virtual world that you and Charles. But I have a question that my team is pressurizing on me. Okay, from from. And I, I, think, I think he's a founder, by the way. Yes, yes we welcome you on, Ramchander. But today, yes. today is for our guests, and we can't really hear you clearly. So you can come back on Monday to the founders only. But we appreciate your kind words. Thank you. Um, it looks like the other person Thank on the screen is also a Thank founder. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Uh, Rohit, are you a current founder? Because if you are, this is for our guest today. Okay. This doesn't always uh, go the way we have planned. I'm bringing people on, but... Uh, Marina, would you mind trying to bring people on? I don't know if you're. Let me let me make uh, make. Well, I, I think Zoom is acting up. To tell yeah. you the truth. 
So uh, if, 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 I, I am the host okay. and I'm having trouble. Yeah, I'm having trouble as well. So um, why don't we? Hello, I, uh, Rohit Sharma, are you a current faculty? Yes, sir. yes, how are you? Hi. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm on the way. After six months, uh, I'm going uh, from my home. Uh, and uh, I'm sitting uh, roadside. Uh, so my bike lighting uh, is here. Just, uh, I am meet with uh, my global leader, uh, just one Desi, sir. Uh, and thanks to no question, but uh, I am thankful to you, uh, Charlie sir, Osang sir. Uh, my uh, English uh, is not perfect, uh, but I uh, like uh, someone's uh, Shushimam, uh, Marina, uh, and Charles Osang sir. Thank you, Shushimam. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, my friend. And, um, Deepak Kumar Kapoor, if you could unmute yourself, please. If those of you have a question and your guests and we can't bring you on, please go down to the Q&A and type your question. We'll try to get your question answered. Uh, we're having a little issue with Zoom. Okay, so Deepak, okay, you've unmuted yourself. Do you have a question for the panel? Hello. It's indeed a pleasure to connect with you all. Okay, hi Deepak. Yeah, you have I've been question? trying to I've been trying to contact you, Susie, but uh, I've sent you <clears throat> email also to you. Okay, but there's no reply from your end. Okay, I... would you please check up your email, please? Yes, I will. I've replied to all of them, but I will check it. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Aga, Aga, Ba, if you could unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, do you have a question for the panel? Yeah, okay, Mark, uh, you've done a good job. But um, as Charles said, we have seen this before. Now, in case we pay all these monies from the beginning, the 97 and the 200, I'm in UK. Now, um, the person who introduced me is from USA. How do I become um, somebody who can recruit? How do I become a boss of my own to recruit people and bring it? Would someone like to answer that question? Thanks, ben. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you and welcome to On Passive. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. On Passive is a global company. I'm in South Africa and the person that introduced me lives in New York. So it doesn't matter who your sponsor is or who the person is that introduced you. Once you register with their link and you get you sign the NDA and you've paid, okay, obviously you pay, then you sign the NDA, you will become an active founder. Once you're active in our um, founders only web, um, website or back office, you will get your own registration link and um, different product res registration links as well, depends on what you want. And you can send that out um, to people that you're wanting to share this business with. You don't have to, but I like your attitude where you said that you're wanting to, to make it your own business and share this opportunity. So that's exactly how you would do it. And then obviously, um, anyone that's interested, send them to webinars like this, um, guest webinars like this, and we have one on a Tuesday as well. I also do a live every day on, on um, YouTube. So there's so much information out there and you can just send them the information that you feel will help them. I hope that answers your question. Uh, not really. Now I've paid the money to, I'm going to pay the money to the person who introduced me. No, you don't no, pay no, it to the person. No, no, don't no, no, pay no. It to the person. You, you pay it to, um, on passive. Okay. Okay, you don't give the person that introduced you the money unless you cannot pay it for some reason and you're giving him your login details. But um, you would pay directly using debit or credit card or Bitcoin. When you get the verification link, you will see your email and you will just follow that link and you go ahead and make the payment yourself um, and follow those steps. You don't pay the money over to anybody. The money does not touch the founder's hands. It goes okay. straight to the company 
And only once we launch is the other around about $250. Um, that's the only time you pay. You pay twice with on passive. Once now to secure your founding member position and once when we launch for your first month subscription of about $250. You know the time that you're going to launch. We're going Agia, to launch Agia, this year. Agia, you're in the UK, aren't you, Agia? Uh -huh. You're in the UK, yes? Yeah. Okay, uh, reach out to me, look, and I'm, I'm from the UK as well, and I'm in the UK. So uh, if you can find me, either redredfern1 at gmail.com or redredfern on Facebook, uh, send me a message, I'll, I'll connect with you, and then I'll help you out, okay? That's fine. That's what I want to do, because I've got so many people to introduce to you, and then... Okay, okay yeah. Reach, reach out to me, mate, and I'll help you on your way, okay? All right, so, then. So, Agia, what you need to do, right, before reaching out to Red, make sure that whoever invited you has sent you their link, right, and then he will just walk yeah. you through what to do, okay? Yeah, yeah, just... I'll talk to him first. Okay, all right. And then I'll become a boss of my own. Exactly. The moment you sign up, as soon as you sign up, you make that payment, you now have your own link. You can now start using that link and, and sign others up. Your spouse, okay. your family, okay. whatever, okay? Your explanation. God all bless right. you. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the person who said they sent me an email, I never received your email, Deepak, so please send it again. If anyone wants a copy of this presentation, you can email onpassivenation at gmail.com. I'm having an issue bringing people on to the panel. So if you have- I think a it's a Zoom issue, Susie? I believe so. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. So please uh, just- write your questions on the chat and we'll just go from there. Yes. And yeah, as, as far as the questions in the chat are concerned as well, I am reading a lot of these questions in the chat and they are obviously from founders. Guys, this is a guest webinar. We can't tell you enough times this is a guest webinar. If you're a founder, come on a Monday, me, Charles, Marty, everyone else will be there, Michael Williams to answer your questions. Let's keep this for our guests. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got a bunch of people on. I have one question in the chat and then we'll get to them. Can you describe how do people make money in more detail and what is the potential for the founders? Who would like okay. to go ahead? Well, well let, let me let me take it. So um, the way we make money on unpassive is the same way that the founders of Google make money is the same way that the founders of Facebook make money is the same way that the founders of Zoom make money. So you put all these different companies, YouTube, Facebook, all of them together, right? How they make money is the same way we're gonna make money and then you multiply it because we're making from everybody. Mostly through advertisement, okay? Mostly through advertisement and when our CEO has said, and that is the reason we are so blessed. He's going to share all that profit with all of us. Okay? So we are the correction to the corruption. What is the corruption? People in Facebook, I use Facebook all the time. I use Google all the time. I use Zoom all the time. Not once has any of these companies shared their profits with me. Okay? On passive is going to share your profits with everybody. So that's how we're going to make money. Okay. What was the second part to that question? I think it was two think, parts. Yeah. And it says, so do we receive shares, profit share forever? No, we don't. Okay. So shares, companies go public to sell shares because they need to raise funds. Okay. We are never going public. We're not going to go to sell shares. And that's a good thing for us because guess what? If, if Ash decided to go public to sell shares, some greedy people who are very, very rich, like Warren Buffett, all these people, they can just buy all the shares and you and I will be out, right? So no, we are never going to go public. So there is no shares. We are a subscription-based company, okay? Just like everybody, every other company, Google. I just told you guys, I pay them every month. I subscribe to them. But they don't give me anything. Well, I'm going to be subscribed to Unpassive. But fortunately for me, I'm only going to pay once out of my pocket. 
Subsequently, on passive will pick up the tabs, pay for my subscription every month. And then on top of that, pay me from other subscribers that they are gonna bring in using artificial intelligence. You know, you can't beat that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, some more questions in the chat, but we're gonna go to uh, people have, who have been brought on. Remember, if you're a panelist on the screen now and you're a current founder, because I do see a few current founders, this is for our guest. So we're gonna go to Sky Limit. Um, he's a, I believe you're a guest. Could you ask your question, please? Yeah, uh, today is my first day. Uh, my name is Kinsley. Um, um, my question is, uh, what about if um, I don't have a credit card or maybe a debit card to make the payments? Is there any other means of uh, making the payment apart from uh, these three, credit card, debit card, or maybe the cryptocurrency? Is there any other means of making the payment? Okay, who would like to respond? Where, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Holland, but maybe from uh, for uh, one or one or two reasons, I cannot uh, make the payment through that one. Is there any other means? Well, uh, the, the thing is, I, I let Rick talk to that. It looks like he wants to talk yeah. about that. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, the person who's invited you here, your sponsor, obviously knows you. Um, yeah. Do you know your sponsor? Yeah, I know him. Okay, the easiest thing to do then if you do not have a credit or debit card and you want to get involved as a founder is yeah. you physically uh, give the money to your sponsor to then pay with his or her credit card to activate your account. But make sure you do it whilst you're there at the same time. Okay, and then okay. that way that they can use uh, their debit card to pay and uh, pay for your account to become a founder. That's only if you haven't got your own Visa, MasterCard, or cryptocurrency, uh, if you're okay. in Holland. Okay. 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 okay the Thank other you. Thing, the other thing I would like to add is uh, we have had some people go and purchase a prepaid debit or credit card, or it has 102 US dollars on it, because with you with debit and credit, it's 97 dollars plus a five dollar processing fee. So a lot of people have gone out and purchased prepaid Visa's American Express MasterCard. Okay. $102. And then you're able to use that when you uh, pay once you uh, have registered. Okay, thank you. I think you're that welcome. one will be appropriate for me. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Next okay. We have Anthony, Anthony, if you would like to unmute yourself. And ask your question. Are you a guest? Uh, yes, I'm a guest. Today is my first day. Oh, well, welcome. Yeah, what I want to find out, how can I use Opasi to drive traffic to my, uh, my products? If I have, uh, if I have uh, say, a number of products on different sites and I want to uh, essentially do what you do, uh, online marketing, drive traffic okay. to those uh, products. We, we got it, that's a common question and Red is gonna answer that for you. Anthony, that's a very good question and uh, one I'll, I'll hopefully explain to you so you know where you're at. Uh, if you have your own business, uh, for a start, you can host it on uh, our ecosystem, the on passive ecosystem, but it has to be legal and it has to be above board. If you meet the criteria, then you can host it on our ecosystem. And being a founder, you get a, an amount of traffic. Now, it is up to you where that traffic goes, okay? You as a founder and you have a business, you can apportion some of that traffic to your business. Now, if you do any advertising already online, we'll say through Facebook or YouTube, the way that you do it there is there's normally drop-down boxes with de different categories that you select, age groups, demographics, countries, et cetera, et cetera. On passive will have exactly the same for your business. And on top of that as well, within the on passive ecosystem, we will have our own marketplace. And at the moment, we are around about 760,000 founders currently 
uh, within on passive and you'll be able to market your own products and services within the marketplace of on passive so not only are you getting eyes on your business from existing founders within on passive but also on passive will get to work on your behalf with the automated uh, targeted traffic to uh, your business and beyond so you'll get uh, basically you'll be getting uh, two slices of the same cake not only will you be getting founders put into your on passive business through the ai technology but you'll also get people looking at your products and services of your standalone business as well through the ai technology i hope that's answered your question yep thank you well thank you anthony for joining us and um we recommend you get back to the person who invited you and come jump on this train uh, yep. learn even more once you come on board and you have access to the back office and more private information. So is that it for your question today? Uh, well, the, well, the only other question, which maybe, I don't know, I might uh, start it out with the, with the person that sent the link to me. I tried, well, okay, so I, I registered using my business name, but I tried to pay the first so first name and last name are different on my payment card. That's okay. So, and so the payment did not go through. Uh, so can I, can I go back and change the name I used to register or is that a way to let that go? You know, uh, Brad, Brad, do you want to respond? Yeah, I can. Unfortunately, the email that you have just used mm -hmm. to try and register is now on the system. So the only way you can activate that account with the name and email is um, by either the, if the credit card doesn't work, then you'll have to find another means. You can activate uh, an account under, under a different name. And then once you're a founder, you can change your name in the profile section. Uh, but to do this, you'll have to have a different email from the one that you've used. So in your circumstances here, you want to activate an account but you want it to be in your business name if you have another email okay then just register your name uh, that is applicable on your card your credit card or debit card okay with a new email then you go and pay once you have paid and the card and everything's been activated and you've signed your nda then you can go into the profile section of your account and then you can change the name that is existing there to your business name if you request, if you want to, okay? Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Uh, next, we have Rahul Tripathi. You could unmute. I think you're unmuted. Hello. 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 Hi, Rahul. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. You can ask the panel your question. I am active founder from last 10 months. I am here because our Indian question and session has been cancelled. Can you come back on Monday, Rahul? Please. This this okay, is sir. for this is for guests only. Okay. I just okay, heard sir, you say sir. you're a founder for 10 months. So please come back on Monday with your question. We, we really appreciate you, uh, founders. But we just want to make sure we give our guests the chance to talk. Okay, thank you, Rahul. Um, next, we have um, we have quite a few people here. Let's see. Nau Shaba, if you could, um, Nau Shaba, if you could unmute yourself. Uh, Hi, are you a guest? Yeah, Susie, I'm also a founder, an uh, old founder, but I have a one question. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, um, today is for our guest only. How long have you been a founder? We can't hear you now, you're muted. Uh, yeah, can you hear me now? We can hear you, but today is for our guest only. How long have you been a founder? Actually, Susie, I have some question. Actually, it's my me and my wife, both a founder, but uh, she have a one question about in like uh, a very important question because they already doing a social work worker okay in like a field is the very rural area okay but the problem is that that rural area that uh, some people they want to join 
but they don't have a credit card and they don't have any option to pay off from there. Okay. okay. And that Indian pay gateway also very bigger problem. Okay. So we can. Can I complete that? <laughs> If you give me a chance, so I'll complete so, that. So let him, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's the problem because uh, it's so many people they want to join an on passive because they are already trained that what are the features is coming, what are the uh, like a system we are providing to our like a ruler area, and you know it's like a very, uh, very, very poor person. They are already working like. A, Indian currency, they're 120 rupees and 130 rupees. That type of, they are earning like a $2 the per day earning like 18 hours they are work. So that's why we had uh, converted that people to come us to join us in on passive. Uh, they are really very interested here. Yeah, my uh, daughters, my son, they are coming features. They already are connected to that on passive. They are already very happy from there. But the reason is that the Indian payment gateway is very uh, bigger problem. So is it possible to uh, they started like uh, any uh, debit card option in coming few, uh, some few days or like uh, any other different currency also like uh, 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 thing from there? Okay, like so now, now that question you're asking is a founders only question, right? You come to, yes. on Monday, we're going to have Indians there that may give you suggestions or ideas, right? What to do. So that's the problem. Yes. We cannot answer that question now because I'm not an Indian, right? Yeah, yeah. I okay. I understand, but uh, you give me a chance on Monday, so it's a very uh, you know I'm very happy from that because there's so many questions we are written from there. Come on Monday. But, uh, we do this every Monday. Come on Monday, and we answer every yeah, yeah, question yeah. on Monday. We don't even have a time. We just answer the questions until everybody's okay, okay. done. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, we have a question in the chat from Honey again. Um, can you set up accounts in both personal and professional business name slash own mul multiple accounts? Would someone like to respond to that? Yes, you can get as many accounts as you want. You can have it in business name, in any name you want, okay? The only thing is each account has to have a separate, a unique email address that's it simple okay Next thank, <laughs> thank you charles um we have a few more people on here remember if you are a current founder monday 2 p.m eastern time is where you come ask your questions we have uh pushkar mishra if you could unmute yourself and ask your question pushkar mishra if not, we'll go to Fatima's Galaxy Note 20. Fatima, if you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Yes, hi, hi everyone. Hi Fatima, welcome. Thank you, um, I'm a guest. Um, my sister invited me and I'm kind of new to all of this. Um, but my, my question is, um, do you have to have products for you to be able to be your founder? And also, um, if not, you don't have products for you to have to be your founder, once you already have access in, how would you gonna be able to um, start making income? Okay, Fatima, let me just say this. This is that's a good question because I know if you're new, you're thinking your head just where you're thinking. So OnPassive has a products for us, right? OnPassive has different products. So I mentioned all those products. Okay, digital products. So the business that they have for us, they're gonna give each and every one of us a website, okay? Number one. Okay. And on that website, they're gonna advertise the products that I just mentioned, all those different products, more than 50 of them. So that okay. is our product. So they're opening a business on our behalf. Some people may have their own things that they're marketing if they want to, and they're gonna ask all passes to send traffic to them, okay? But otherwise, on passive has a product for us. You don't need to have a product. And on passive is gonna market on our behalf. They're gonna go out, use AI, advertise these products. People are gonna come and look at them. They're gonna be interested because by the way, they are the best in the market. Okay. 
and when they purchase, which is a subscription, on passive is going to give them the customer support that they need. So you can have, you simply have a business done for you. Okay. Okay. But are we are we getting our are we getting money from helping advertising? No, no. Okay. So Google or no. So on passive is doing all of that. You don't have to do anything. That's what we're saying. Hmm. So I, I can just um. So how much is how much is um how much do I need to pay uh for me to be able to be a founder? Ninety-seven dollars. And then when you when we launch, mm -hmm. you have to come out of pocket again one more time. Okay. And oh, okay. So that's it's around two hundred fifty bucks. Yes. So it's a first nine. Um, is it ninety almost dollar? Okay. You must have come in late. What you, what we can do is uh, let Maddie send you a recording of the the video. Okay. Send an email to onpassivenation at gmail.com, right? Mm -hmm. He will send you a recording of what happened because you must have been late. Right? Yeah, I just wanted to know so I can be mentally prepared. Uh, if I have to pay money, how much would I be able That's, to pay? Yeah. Okay, and, I just uh, told you. Is it just a first-time payment or it's um uh, I have to be it's a it's a first first-time payment, then I don't have to pay anymore, or I have to make a first payment, second payment. Um, I just wanted to know the process of how I so, came. So there's gonna you're gonna have a lot of questions. So your best bet is to go through that video, but just in short, we only come out of pocket twice. Number one, okay. you pay ninety-seven dollars, you become a founder. Uh -huh. And then the second time, you pay around two fifty, and that's it. That makes you a customer. That's it. But that video will explain everything to you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, Fatima. Thank you. Is that it? Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. We we hope you jump on board. Uh, we haven't. Uh, Pushkar has not unmuted themselves, so we'll go to uh, Masood Mandal. Masood Mandal, if you could unmute yourself, please, and ask your question. Masood. Okay. Uh, we'll try Albert Cesabera. Albert Cesabera. If you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, we'll go to uh, Megha Singh. Megha Singh, if you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Megha Singh. Hello, ma'am. Hello, welcome. Do you have a question? Uh, just I want to know that the, uh, the future of the company in a single word. Like a single massive, yeah, <laughs> wow, oh, awesome, <laughs> yeah. But uh, we are uh, extremely excited for this. Well, that's good to hear. Do you have another question, or was that it? Uh, that was compliment, ma'am. Hello, uh, hang on, Sheriff. <laughs> we'll get to you. Hang on, that okay. word is disruptive. <laughs> On passive is disruptive. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Thank. You. No other question. On Monday, I will ask when there will be Indians. Like, uh, could you repeat that again? Okay. She says she will see us on Monday. So okay. apparently, she's a founder. Okay. Thank you. We'll see you on Monday. Okay. <laughs> okay, sheriff. The person who's the sheriff is in town. Sheriff, if you could unmute yourself now. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeehaw. Giddy up, right? right. My favorite. Yeah. Hi, Sheriff. Do you have a question for the panel? Yes, I have a question. I heard about on passive and the whole idea. What I want to be clarified about is what it has for me in five what exactly is the business model? How do I convert my cash if I um, if I invest, let's say, hundred dollar to let the, in the next? Is there a way for you to? If I'm not doing any activity, I leave my hundred dollar five years from now. How does it convert? The money become yeah. How does it convert basically? Okay, who would like to respond, Red or Marie? Go on, then I'll take it. Uh, okay, you, you, 
First off, I, I would uh, send an email to onpassivenation.com, okay, and get hold of the recording. And at your leisure, go over the recording of what Charles and uh, the explanation of on passive so that you can familiarize yourself once again with what on passive is going to do. But as far as withdrawing money out of on passive, there is a thing, one of our products, which is called O Wallet, that Charles mentioned in that uh, presentation. And within our O Wallet, you will have the ability to withdraw funds directly into your bank account to cryptocurrency addresses and also other means depending on your country. So that's how you get your money out of on passive. OK, once you've earned your money, that is how you get it out. As far as how do you earn your money, Charles is exactly right. We will be using the same technology uh, and earning potential as some of the big names out there. And also don't forget one of the ways we will be earning money is commissions from customers buying the products and services that will be placed underneath all of us as founders. So not only will be making money from the means of advertising that the company will be doing, but also from customers who will be buying the digital products and services of on passive. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Red. And you can email on passive nation at gmail.com. We've put it in the chat and they will send you a copy of this webinar. Uh, thank you, Sheriff, for joining us. Is that it for your question? And thank you. I would want to ask. Um, We're having trouble hearing you. I said I would want to ask another question. OK, go ahead. OK. A friend of mine invited me through Link to join on passive mm -hmm. Google to try and find out about on passive and most of the I got 60 70 percent of the information I was getting the information about on passive now and we've had series of uh, pyramid schemes that have come and gone and I've lost money doing them. So I am a bit skeptical about and the whole idea. So basically what I want to know, is it going to be something like you mentioned that most of the things, activities you're going to be doing would be something that resembles what Facebook and Google and other big companies are going to be doing. And actually saying that you're going to have more or less like a platform, like the one Facebook has, that people can come and get content and then you advertise to them from advert from companies that will pay you thereby. And are you also sharing the profit with the founders? Or are you saying you're going to your building that Google has? So if you have something that so many people are using, you could use that to pitch to come advertise with you because you have traffic you're selling. And you also mentioned that you also have products that people will buy subscriptions into. And that after our first investment, taking subscriptions from, you'll be renewing our subscription from making by being founders of the companies. I will come on that. And yeah, basically. We got to, we understand what you're saying. We always try and get one question at a time. Um, if you don't mind me responding here. Firstly, on passive is not an investment. You are buying a founding member position. Then when we launch, we pay a one-time subscription so that the company can do the work for us. We are getting pay, are we paying the, com the company $250 but we only pay as founders one-time subscription. Every month going forward, our subscription comes out of our profits earned from the commissions that we make from on passive. And on passive product are, is every digital tool, product and service that you would ever need to be a success in business. So either you're using the products currently, if you have a business of your own or you're involved in another online business, or if you don't, on passive will be your business. To me, I don't have another business. On passive is the only thing that I'm going to be doing. 
and the company will be placing customers under us. And investment is where you take your hundred dollars and you put it in and then it grows slowly and you get commission of you know, getting people, recruiting people. This is not an MLM or network marketing company. This is a global IT company and we are a subscription-based business for all the products and tools. So the company will use artificial intelligence driven campaigns to get com um, customers signed up under us as founders. Okay. okay. Yeah, Very the other thing as well, Sheriff, I'd like to mention as well, you, was, you were talking right at the beginning about uh, being involved with uh, other uh, pyramid schemes and, uh, and, uh, and things that have gone south. We've all been there when we feel your pain. But one thing I will mention as far as on passive is concerned, our CEO and founder has gone beyond, beyond uh, his endeavours to make sure that we are completely legitimate and viable. Uh, I can tell you that back in November of 2018 was the first time on passive was registered in California, Orlando, in, Cali in, in Florida, Orlando. OK, this was registered as an SSL company and subsequently in January of this year, we were also registered as a limited company in Hyderabad in India. This gives us the legal right to operate anywhere on the globe. OK, exactly the same way as Amazon does it, exactly the same way as Google and Zoom and all of the other IT companies. We are an informational technology business and this gives us a legal right to operate online. Uh, so don't forget also one of the um, one of the markers of a pyramid scheme is guess what? No products and no services. Well, we have legitimate products and services. So we are not a pyramid scheme, MLM, network marketing company, et cetera. We are a customer-based subscription business, as Marina rightly said. Well, there you have it. Good job, you two. Sheriff, are you all set with your questions? You're muted. Hi. Yeah, yeah, I'm satisfied. It's okay. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, we do have someone with their hand. I, I just, I just, I just want to say I like his name because I always talk about the new sheriff in town. Yeah. So, so we got a sheriff in the house today. Okay, sheriff. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to have you in. <laughs> yeah. Come on, on. I don't think we have anyone named sheriff. <laughs> Um, we do have someone with their hand raised, but I believe you are a founder, Owa Sim. So you can come back on Monday to the Q&A. We have Pastor Blessing Uduak. If you could unmute yourself, Pastor Blessing Uduak. Yes. Hello. Yes, good, evening. good evening. This is Pastor Blessing Uduak Thompson from Nigeria. Welcome. Do you have a Hello. question? Yeah. Yes, I have. I have. I was introduced to this unpassive by my friend, my sister, Mrs. Ekanem. My question goes, I've been hearing all what they, they were saying. Uh, my question goes, how, how much is the maximum of investments one can do? The maximum? Okay, let, let me take that. So number one, it is not an investment, uh, Pastor Blessing, right? But All I know right. what you're thinking. So we're a subscription-based company, and by the time you're done, it's going to cost you about $350. So $97 to start to become a founder when we launch another $250. Now, if you think that you can afford about $350 multiple times, you can have more than one account, OK? And the way to do that is to create different emails. So each account will have a unique email. So each account will be treated separately. And you're going to earn from each account separately. So that's the only way to do it too if you want to make more money. Just open up multiple founder accounts, OK? All right. My second question is, uh, assuming I have about 6,000 people I'm bringing in, how am I going to do that? You, you, you just send on your link, right? So once you, once you make that payment, right, you will get your own link. You now okay. go to your back office and send the link out to those 6,000 people because what's yeah. going to happen, 
the person that invited you will send you his or her link. Yeah. Become a founder. Once you make that payment, you automatically have your own link. You can oh, now right. send your link to those 6,000 people and they can come in the same way that you came in. All right. Thank you very much. You I'm are okay. very welcome. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, All right. Welcome on board. Sounds like you're going to sign up. So welcome, Pastor Blessing. Okay, we have Thalori Ramu. Thalori Ramu, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. If you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, if not, we have Lena Afua Adonu. Lena Afua Adonu, if you could unmute yourself. And that, there you are. Hi, Lena. Hello. Hi. It was a mistake, please. Sorry. Hi. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, it was a mistake. I didn't raise my hand. Okay. All right. Thank you. We have Madhu Talk. Madhu Talk, if you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Madhu Talk. Or VJ Singe. Oh, there's Madhu. Hi, welcome. Do you have a question? Hello. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Hi. Oh, I'm I'm from India. Welcome. Actually, actually, I have a question of uh, that. Uh, is there any product uh, from on passive that uh, related to movies and and the music music system? Uh, would someone like to answer that? Yeah, Matt? I can say that if you want to. Yeah, Onet uh, will be our multimedia type of uh, products. We haven't seen it yet, um, but Onet is where not uh, we will be having uh, YouTube videos, for instance, uh, type of things will be there. Uh, until we see it, uh, I can't give you a definitive answer, but Onet is probably going to be the place where that type of uh, multimedia will be housed. Does, thank you, that, thank you, sir. Does that answer your question, Madhu? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for joining us. We have Reed Bonsal. Reed Bonsal, what is your? Uh, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I became a founder about two and a half years ago. Um, what I'm wondering is. Um, what they talked about initially was that, you know, you entered in at 25 or 125 or 400 or 900. And now I'm hearing something about, is there an additional $250 fee or $300 fee that's going to be added in addition to those entry fees? Okay, Brad. Uh, you, you, Go ahead. Yeah, you, 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 you've obviously been away for a while um, and not been plugged in uh, because uh, you're an existing founder. And obviously this is a guest webinar. And Charles has gone through the whole presentation with what we have to pay, which is the 97 to become a founder, and then around 250 when we launch the world. Uh, the figures that you're talking about now have not been used for well over a year now. In fact, nearly a year and a half now. Okay. So uh, obviously, you've not been plugged in through that period of time and been up to date. But if you have got this question, please come back to us on Monday. Okay, in our founders only, and we will certainly answer all your questions for that and clear you up. There's no point in answering it right now because all it's going to do is confuse the guests uh, of what you are saying. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, VJ Singe, if you're there, you can unmute yourself. If not, we will go to um, Ashish Kumar Sahani. Ashish Kumar Sahani, if you could unmute yourself. Uh, how about Asiri Naidu Gandu? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, looks like. Uh, I think we you did a good job pronouncing that name. <laughs> I did? Okay. Um, Vijay Singe, 
Okay, no VJ. I'll put them back as an attendee. Asi or Anadi, Nadu Gandu. I kind of, uh, once again, if any of you would like a copy of this presentation, please send an email to onpassivenation at gmail.com. And if you are a current founder, we appreciate you being here. Uh, the question, if you have questions, we have a Q&A, Founders Only, Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, we'll try Rajiv or uh, Fatima. I think you've been on already. If you have another question, Fatima or Fatima, yes. hi. Yes, um, I have a question. My question is, um, if you're bringing more new, um, new people, um, or are you sharing the link to new um, new people? Does, um, do you get anything from bringing customers, new customers? Okay, Red, okay. you want to respond? Uh, I, oh, uh, go ahead, Red, go ahead, go ahead, Red. Right, at this stage, uh, we as founders here do not get any monetary value whatsoever from bringing in new customers are new founders okay right at this moment and this obviously is where we are for this um so your question is probably why should i bring new founders in right now if i'm not going to get any monetary value for it well the reason is is because when we go to launch your team has grown and you will get a larger proportion of uh your commissions when we launch because all founders will be resellers customer resellers of the products and services of on passive when we launch to the world so any activity that you do right now to build a group of customers below you and this means you sharing this opportunity with other people to become founders then you are going to get to your financial goals quicker rather than just allowing the company to do it you can obviously do nothing and allow the company to do it all for you but it's a bit like watching a good movie or enjoying a good meal. You want to tell everyone about it, how fantastic it is. And on Passive is exactly the same. You, are, you will have links and registration uh, links within your back office, okay, that you can share with people. And there is, when we launch, a financial incentive to do that, okay, to have more people in your team. But the bottom answer is you don't have to, but right at the moment, you do not have any monetary value for sharing this opportunity with a, any other person at the moment. Okay, Fatima, does that answer your question? Okay, yes, because once I become a founder, um, it's basically it's what I've, I'm gonna be receiving, just like you said, you enjoy your mail, or you enjoy your movie, and you wanted to tell people about it, it's what we, um, it's, you're enjoying what you're paying for or enjoying the, uh, the meal that you're having is what's going to drive you to invite more people. So I'm looking forward to um, join and see which, what I can get and then I can bring more um, people or talk to people more about it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking, at, I mean, not everybody will be a founder. Uh, this opportunity is not for everybody. We are looking for visionaries. We're looking for entrepreneurs. We're looking for people who can see what this business is going to do. As Marina rightly said, it is going to be a disruptive business within the internet marketing place, you know, and you have the opportunity to be part of that as a founder now. Could you imagine being offered the opportunity to be a founder in Microsoft or Apple or Facebook or Netflix or YouTube or any of these multi-billion dollar companies before they launch to the world. On Passive is inviting people to join them as a founder and partner in this business. And this is what this um, webinar is all about now, is to give you the opportunity to join us as a founder before we launch to the world. Because once we launch to the world, that's it. There is no more founders. So to benefit from that founder opportunity, you have to get in now before we launch. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Um, we have a question in the chat from Honey who has asked a couple uh, great questions today. Um, is there a reward scheme monthly income that you can share based on number of people you have introduced? 
I am a program host and have access to many people. So I think her the question is based upon by bringing in more people, is there some sort of reward to that? Would someone like to uh, speak on that? Charles? Okay. Oh, I should be the one to speak on it, right? <laughs> okay. So, so uh, what's the name of the, the person that asked the question? I'd like to. Honey. Honey. Wow. Honey. Isn't that okay. a sweet name? Sweet name. Very sweet name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's it. So, honey, yes, I is gonna work. Okay, on passive is gonna build our teams using traffic. Okay, that AI traffic, targeted traffic, is gonna help each and every one of us build our teams when we launch. So we are not yet in the public eyes. We're not. We're still in pre-launch. When we launch, that traffic will go out and build our teams for us. Well, it's sort of like, let me say this. Marina is an architect. She's gonna build a 10 story building for Red and a 10 story building for Charles come December 1st. Well, Red says, well, Marina is such a good architect. I'm just gonna relax, wait until December 1st. And Charles says, you know what? I can start the process. I'm gonna do a foundation maybe do another story since I've got five, six months to go. And when Marina comes, guess what? It's gonna to come to me and Red on the same day and it's gonna start building Red's home from scratch. Meaning she's gonna start with the foundation, right? It's gonna to come to Charles. Oh, by the way, Charles has already done all the foundation. He has done the first floor and he's gonna start from the second floor. Well, guess what? Charles, Charles's story building will get them much sooner. Same thing on Passive is going to do. So assume that you are a big builder. You talk to 10, 10 talk to 20, 20 talk to 30. Before you know it, you have a thousand people in your team come launch date. Well, I decide to keep it for myself. Come launch day, I have zero in my team. What if, what if on passive decides for the first two months and they're able to give everybody 10 customers just to make math easy, right? So they're gonna come to me, I have zero, they give me 10 customers, right? And they're gonna come to you, you have a thousand, you get 10 customers, but you have a thousand founders in your team with 10 customers each. So that's 10,000 and 10 customers that you're gonna get commission on after the first cycle, right? And I'm gonna get commission on 10 customers. So yes, there is a reward, though not on a monthly basis because customers are gonna come in daily, right? AI goes out, brings customers every day and the ones that come to you that day, they subscribe that day, you get paid that day, right? So every day, you're gonna be getting subscription daily. Okay, and on passive is gonna have two wallets, right? One wallet for your funding, paying your monthly subscription. The other wallet, we call the O wallet, is gonna be for your withdrawals, right? So once your subscription of around $250 is met, everything else goes to your withdrawal wallet and you can withdraw money every day, as long as it is sitting in your withdrawal wallet, okay? So we're not doing monthly thing here, we're doing daily, hourly. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, I hope that answered your question. She says, she says she's very clear, she just sent out the chat, great. <laughs> <laughs> You're clear as a bell today, Charles, as usual. Okay, um, Anath Barman, Anath Barman, if you could unmute yourself, you're on the panel, or Rajiv Ranya, Ranjan Kumar, unmute yourself, or Asiri Naidu Gandu. Um, looks like those people, oh, Anath, do you have a question? 
thank thank you madam no nope. thank you, you. okay welcome do you have a question or did you say no madam yep we can all, hear you all all founder all founder is subscription could you madam read? subscription asking if all the founders have to pay a subscription subscription madam yeah all yes. founder all the founders everybody who's a founder will have month, to pay please, month, please, su su subscription we pay one madam. month subscription one time mm. one time one time and the next month comes out of commissions we as founders we only please pay please, one time subscription madam please, please. Okay, madam. Okay. Discuss. Is that your only question? Okay. Thank you. We're going to go to uh, Anietti Bas Bassi. Hi. Welcome. Do you have a question for the panel? Thank you very much. Uh... Annette Abasi is calling in from Nigeria. And I have to say first kudos to Charles. Uh, uh, you, you take time to dissect question and give clear answer and that makes me happy. Uh, my question here is, um, uh, is it permitted, are founders permitted to, to gather physical meetings, physical one-on-one -on -one meeting with um, uh, the intended members or while going for marketing, while spreading the news, is it um, permitted uh, by found, uh, by, by one pass on passive for founders to, to have one-to-one -one, um, physical meeting? That's what I want to know. Okay. The simple, the simple answer is yes, Annette. So, so if, if I'm Sam living, are you in Nigeria currently? Great. Yeah, I'm in Nigeria currently. Okay. Yeah. So we have founders in Nigeria that are doing physical meetings, but with this day and age with technology, what they are doing is all over Africa, as a matter of fact, as a, even in Cameroon, all over the place. So what they do, they have a physical meeting, might have, let's say 20, 30, 40 people, and they just broadcast it through Zoom also. So yes. at the same time, you have people that can connect globally, but you also have your physical meeting. It, it, it helps you grow faster, but nobody stops you from having people in your dining room or anywhere and talking about on passive. That's, that's great. That's encouraged. Thank you very much, Charles. You're doing a great job here, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Honey has a final question and then we'll get to the rest of the people. I understand the company will help set up website for each member. Do all members have different style, look, branded websites, or just personal links connected to same on passive website? Go for it, Red. Great question, actually. Um, this is one of the beauties about on passive. Uh, not only do we all have our own individual domain names, but we all have our own individual websites. And not only do we have a website that is individual, but that website changes on a daily basis, okay? Without us having to do anything, the on passive company and artificial intelligence gets to work. It's what we're paying them to do. And they will be changing our daily websites to different formats. How many different formats? We don't know. OK, but they will be changed on a daily basis. So, for instance, you have one person who will view you on Monday. They go back and have a look at you on Tuesday. Guess what? You've got a brand new website. They'll be going, wow, this person must be fantastic, must be amazing because they've got another website. They go, guess what? You've got another website for us. OK, they are going to be physically marketing us. That is us, the founders not on passive. So we are going to be the brand, okay? Susie McRae, Red Redfern, Charles O'Song, we are all going to be.
the brand of On Passive. And you, within your own business, will have exactly the same branding. Okay, excellent explanation. Yes, because I think a lot of people have been with companies before. You have that company name at the end. Um, this is going to be personalized. So how great is that? A couple more here. We have Birendra Kumar. Virendra Kumar, if you could unmute yourself. And it looks like we have Anthony and Lena again on. Anthony, uh, while we're waiting for Virendra, Anthony, did you have another question? We have you on the panel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So my question is, uh, how soon is some um, passive going live? That's the first question. And then secondly, so what makes, what's the difference between uh, someone that becomes uh, uh, a, found, a founder today versus someone who became a founder a year ago, for example. Okay, who would like to respond to that? Okay. Uh, hello. So how soon are we going live? Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't know. But we do, we do believe we will be live by the end of this year, right? Now, we are being cautiously optimistic, okay? Uh, yes. And I think that maybe because of my background in IT. I've been in several projects where we say we're going to go live 15 days from now, and then we'll push it again, and then we'll push it again. I understand. It only takes one semicolon in the programming whole sequence to, figure, to try and to postpone things, okay? Anyway, everything looks good for the, by the end of this year, we should be live. All right, now, second part to your question, does it make a difference? Yes, it does make a difference because the timestamp is important. So if you, as long as you join us before we launch, okay, your success is guaranteed before we launch. You join before you, we launch. Right now we have about 760,000 founders. About that, just think about it. By the time we launch, just assume that we have a million founders, right? Our prognosis, after the first year, after 12 months in business, we expect about 100 million customers. So we, you're gonna be 1% of what we have total by that one year, right? Now, if you came in and there was only 50,000 founders and somebody came in and there's 750,000 founders, well, guess what? That person, is ahead of you, okay? And there's some bonus that's gonna come in for people that come the earlier you are, the better off you are. However, what we are saying is everybody, as long as you're in, right? You're gonna make it because two years later, 100 million customers become what? A billion customers? So you are a, you are a fraction of a percent in terms of what you're earning. Okay. Does that help answer your question, Anthony? Okay, anything else? Yeah, I wanna add something too, Anthony. Keep in mind, if you, if you become a founder today and you share it with people, you can cut those time frames down dramatically. If you share it with people and they share it with people, I mean, you could cut time frames a thousand times, if, you know, if you, if you share it, so. Keep that in mind too. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry about when you got in. If you're in, you win. That's it. Okay. Okay, Anthony. Um, next, we're going to go to Bur Burendra Kumar. If you could unmute yourself again, you had before, but I muted you. Burendra Kumar, if you could unmute yourself, and then we'll go to Lena after that. Hi, yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. From India. From India. Do you have a question? No question any. I am very, very proud for Jal uh, one Paisi. Okay, that's great to hear. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs> okay, next, uh, Lena, you're back on. If you'd like to unmute yourself, Lena, and ask your question. Uh, Marty has I also think... put 
in the chat on passivenation at gmail.com. Email that you want a copy of today's recording on passivenation at gmail.com. Um, what were you going to say, Charles? I apologize. No, and I was just going to say, Lena, she came earlier and said it was a mistake. So maybe it's a mistake again. Okay. Thank you for, thank you for keeping up on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Very astute. Okay. Um, every, uh, if you are thinking about becoming a founder, we recommend highly you get back to the person who invited you. Register, pay, sign the NDA. You'll have access to the back office where you will even get more excited when you listen to uh, some of the recorded webinars with our CEO back there. And then you'll be able to come on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time where we have a founders only Q&A. And a lot of exciting things are gonna be happening very soon and on passive. So you're gonna to wanna to jump on board. And then once you jump on board, you can use your registration link. And we also have webinar links that you can send to your friends and family so that they can come to these public webinars that we hold Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And we do these every week. So this is an opportunity for you. Uh, we have different presenters, uh, they can come and uh, we can help explain on passive to them. Okay, a couple more here. Oh boy, Hidi Yatula Mayakrani. Haida Yatula Mayakrani, if you could unmute yourself. Or Asari Naidu Gandu. Uh, not sure. Guys, I'm going to have to slide off uh, now, if that's okay with you. Thanks, thanks, Blake. Two and a half Thank hours. You your help. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see, I'll see Monday. everybody Monday. That's right. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how you want to finish this up. I know we've been on a uh, little... Right. I think, I think we can wrap this up because uh, a lot of the questions are from founders. Guys, founders, we love you very much. We're going to take your questions on Monday afternoon. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for those of you who are guests, jump on board ASAP. This trend is about to take off at high speed. And by the way, as long as you are in before 2 p.m. Monday, you'll be able to participate in our founders on the webinar. And believe it or not, it is very, it is usually very informative, right? We stay there until all the questions are asked. And even though you're going to be new, you won't have a lot of questions. You can just sit quiet, listen to the other founders, ask questions, and assimilate the responses. And I bet you that night you will not sleep. Okay? So come on board and don't be left out. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Very, very good panel today. Very good presentation, Charles, as always. If you want a copy of this, email onpassivenation at gmail.com. And also reach out to the person who invited you because they will be able to give you more information if your questions weren't answered. Or you can jump on board and come to the Q&A on Monday. And like Charles said, once you become a founder, you have access to the back office and you've signed the non-disclosure agreement. You can listen to other um, webinars, private ones, and you're just going to get more and more excited. So you're here for a reason. Um, we are not here to convince, pester, or pressure you, but we like what we see. We're smiling every day and would like you to join. Hold on, hold on, hold on Susie. I see somebody, Hannah, said this was a waste of time that she asked a question and it was not answered. Let's bring Hannah up so we can answer her question. I think it was A, Hannah, is that what it is? Yeah, hey, Hannah. I'm mm -hmm. gonna bring Hannah to the panelists. Anna, I want to answer your question, right? We don't we don't dodge questions. So I try to promote Hannah. Yeah, they're saying, but I'll be sure to tell others of what garbage this is. So I'm not sure uh, what's up with uh hey, Hannah. Okay, all right. I try to bring her up. Uh he 
it looked like she left, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Too bad. Okay. Uh, a visionary is somebody who sees what is not visible, right? So unfortunately, it's her loss. Okay, guys. See you on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, everyone. All right.